and then they'll have to worry about right. that or wear a wig or all day. Or keep something in your bag and you can and you can go from a work day to, you know, a last minute dinner that yes. you wouldn't normally go to because you think, oh, I've got to get my hair done. There's no way I'm, go I'm not going looking like this. But these are quick and easy ways to transform a work look into an evening look. Absolutely. So we're going to do another wig. And don't forget, for all of you who are like, I don't want to do a short hair wig. I want a long hair wig. We have something in store for you coming up towards the end of the show. But this is the wispy cut wig and it's all about if you want some layers and dimension if you're the girl who goes to the salon you sit in Christina's chair and you say layer me I need something <laughs> just piece it yep. all out piece it this out. is the wig for you it's a price of $99 and we just got more back in stock but one of the things I love working with Christina is she starts from the beginning she doesn't just describe the wig she shows you how to get the wig on your head so our rule of the day is hide your real hair Okay, so basically starting with uh, with bobby pins, any, anything you've got around the house, um, you can just pull back one area and pull back the second area. The way I like to do it is to separate my hair into two sections, and I just kind of crisscross them to make a nice tight fold at the base and get it out of the way. Guys, this doesn't have to look pretty. This is just so that you can have all the hair laying flat to your head you know, sort of all around, no bumpy areas, right? No However bumpies. you want to get this done, I'm not going to tell anybody. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of how it works. Okay, so now, um, again, you can use the adjustable tabs at the base to create more space or, a, or a, a tighter fit. It's really up to you, although you probably won't need that at all. Um, and you want to, every time you get uh, one of these wigs at home and yeah. it comes out of the box, give it a good shake. Okay. It's not about trying to keep it perfectly still. Like you said, messing things up and giving it a lot more air in between is going to make it most believable. Okay, so you want to dive in like a swim cap. You use your forehead to hold the front and you give it a good stretch over the back, tucking in all of your hair. Once you've done that, get your ears out. Remember, find, get your ears out. You always want to see the whole ear. Find, see, you, I'm wearing this really low, but that's yes. not my natural hairline. So I want to take it and pull it back to where my natural hairline ah, starts, is. right? And then just to make sure that you've got the center, because I can't tell you how many times I put one of these on and it's off to the side. I didn't realize it. So you want to find, and I think I've almost just done that okay. today. There we go. Okay. So you want to find the center of the wig by locating the two flexible uh, tabs. And then you want to push it nice and close to your forehead, giving everything a good shake. And then these are almost going to style themselves. You want to just use your fingers to get in there and find where sort of where the hair wants to go. You. Follow along. That's it. I it's all done. I can't believe you have long hair because every time you try on a shorter hair, that's that's your look. You're but a short hair girl. But I wear <laughs> short hair wigs all the time, so I don't have to commit to it. And I have the longer hair in case I want to wear like, you know, just my hair free flowing or whatever, do something a little I sexier. love it. <laughs> so we'll do the shade chart so you can start shopping. And remember, if you're just tuning in, what's so unique about hairdo is it's not a solid shade you're purchasing. You're going to look for whatever square matches your real hair the most, but each wig will be blended with 7 to 11 shades to give you that true realistic look. The lightest color I have for you to choose from is light golden blonde. There's a medium golden blonde, light brown, medium brown golden, medium red brown, then you have a medium red ginger, a medium brown ginger, black burgundy, black, and dark brown. And let's go over to the girls because we did just get more back in stock with this one. And you really describe this, whereas maybe I should stand next to them. It's not as, um, I would say, like brand new idea in hair and what everyone's asking for where it's this asymmetrical look this is more that classic i'm a girl who likes to get layered look exactly and so if you if you watch you know um you can either wear this nice and close and flat but watch what happens i mean if you want to okay. create volume and could you put stuff in wig, there to do that yeah you don't even have to that's the thing it's really it just listens you could put hairspray but if you wanted to create all this volume and these layers and get this moving this yeah. is can i have more layers this is what people ask their yes. hairstylist yes you can can. This, the wispy cut wig is the one that gives you lots of movement and body. So if I even added, started adding more and more hairspray to this, yeah. it would get a lot more lift and it wouldn't move all night long. Are you cool if I do a 360 with you? Hold on tight. I'll go slow. But again, I love seeing it from every single angle. Is your hair thinning and you want it to look thicker for the engagement that you have coming up soon? Is it every day that you're doing errands and running around that you just want to feel a little prettier and a little sassier and feel like you used to back in the day? Maybe that's why you get your wig or is it because you can never get the right cut you've tried this salon and that salon and you paid that price and you paid this price but when it really matters and you want to ensure a good haircut and a good hair day this is the piece that you put in look at that 
I love beautiful. you where it hits you right here. So the lots chin. of Ew. again, lots of wispy pieces on the wispy cut wig. This is where you're going to see lots of layers that if you even wanted to take a curling iron to it yeah. and create lots of movement over the top, you can do that at home. Nice. All right. Up so to 350 degrees. Sorry. Awesome. No, I'm glad you said that. So let's move over here to Sassy Kylene who's hanging out. And again, I look at every little angle of you and it just so is realistic. Right, and you you know you can either wear all of this kind of into your face a little bit more. If you're the type of person again that's not comfortable, you want a really short haircut, but you're not comfortable wearing all of your hair away from yes. your face. This adds lots of beautiful layers that come into the face. Well, gorgeous. Again, just got more back in stock. It's right at a hundred dollars. As we walk over to our mannequin heads, there is a question that I had in my head a second ago, Christina. Okay. How do you store your wigs when you're not wearing them? What do you like to keep? I them? make an art of it. <laughs> Some people. Explain. I mean, people collect shoes and they have their different ways of storing yeah. those, whether they're being containers. I have a wall. <laughs> a wall of wigs. I have a wall and I kind of keep all of them. But listen, depending on the piece, if it's something that you know, like the longer wig, and you want to keep it cascading, you can use you. You know, little um, pants hangers or it's really up to you because the thing is when you pick these guys up even if you haven't used it for a few months give it a good shake the true to life fibers are going to go back to what they were awesome so let's start with your darkest shade black Okay, so here we are with the true black color. Again, um, really similar to some of the other wigs that we've had. So if you didn't get a chance to get the black shade, um, here it is. So black with burgundy is a true black that has lots of sort of warm burgundy highlights in it. Um, you have your dark brown color right here. There's medium red brown, which is the color that I'm wearing. Light brown, which is the color that you're wearing. Yes. Okay, and then we have medium red with ginger, super popular color. Um, it's got sort of really dark blonde, almost, you know, really warm highlights in it on a, on a ginger base. And just for time's sake, I'm going to say the last four okay. rather quickly so we can move into another piece. But this is medium brown ginger. This is medium brown gold medium golden blonde and then lastly you have light gold blonde it's eight two two nine eight five three just got more back in stock and it's under a hundred dollars